Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and at this point I think most of you know that airplanes have rats. Yes, that's right, but not these kind of rats. This kind of rat. The Ram Air Turbine. In the most basic way of explaining, this is your very last failsafe. This unit will deploy when certain conditions are met, which we will discuss in a second. First and foremost, I have to thank my colleagues. Without them, this video would not have been possible. This is a big collaboration between many maintenance technicians. Big Fly Travel, Zeto, Noisy Ratchet, Bank Hell only. Thank you guys. And a beautiful opening shot of that 787 from PDX Spotter. So let's get back into it. In its stowed position, the rat is tucked away neatly inside the airframe of the aircraft. We're going to use this 320 family aircraft to give you the examples of how this works. Now there's a certain criteria the aircraft has to meet for the rat to deploy automatically. Number one, failure of both engines. Number two, a failure of one engine together with a failure of the electrical generator of the other engine. And number three, total aircraft electrical failure. It is also possible to deploy the rat manually via the flight deck. Once the rat is deployed, it is now in the wind. It begins to naturally spin because it's a propeller. It has airfoil. It will produce hydraulic power to the blue hydraulic system. It will also produce minimum electricity to the constant speed motor slash generator, CSMG. In an emergency, blue auxiliary systems supply hydraulic power to the aircraft. The electrical power can be supplied through the blue hydraulic systems by the constant speed motor generator. This is enough sufficient power supply to control the flight controls, as well as provide basic electrical power. You have to remember, you don't have to go through lots of redundancies before you actually get to this. The aircraft has two more hydraulic systems, as well as multitude of electrical generation. We're talking about engine driven pumps as well as integrated drive generators. Let's listen to what it sounds like. We as maintenance are responsible to perform operational checks and functional checks on this unit. We want to make sure there is a positive rate of flow as well as its deployment is correct. We utilize safety cages as you can see right there. We utilize external equipment such as hydraulic mules and flow meters. This provides hydraulic power externally as well as equipment to monitor the flow. Now that's the basics of the RAT. But the unit itself is quite interesting. It has a lot more features built inside of it. The RAT also has a stall protection device within it. The stall protection device limits the maximum power the pump can take from the turbine. Not only does it produce power, but it also makes sure it protects itself. Now here's a really interesting feature. The Ram Air Turbine also has a de-icing device. It is installed on the nose of the turbine hub. This unit produces its own heat, which keeps the nose temperature about 37 Fahrenheit. This prevents from ice from building up. As the units turn, the heat is produced by eddy current heating devices. The heating device has two basic components, an electrically conductive aluminum plate and an even number of samarium cobalt magnets. When relative rotation takes place, the flux field gets passed through the aluminum plate and produces current. As the alumina has electrical resistance, the power is generated that is then displaced by heat. As you can see, redundancy upon redundancy. Believe it or not, even though this unit exists on most modern aircraft, it's very rarely used. Remember, you still even have an APU as a backup. But that's the point of aviation. Always keeping you safe, always redundancy in place. Make sure to give a big thank you to all the people that made this video possible and go check out their amazing content as well. There's obviously a bit more complexities to these systems, but this is as basic as I can make it. Time to say goodbye to the rat. Thank you for watching and have a great day.